And today on the bench I've got my uh, Kenwood SM220 station monitor. And I'm having a little bit of an intermittent issue with the sweep range switch. You can see if I just touch it very lightly I can cause the sweep to kind of stop or get slower and just get very intermittent. And uh, if you play around with the switch you can kind of get it to work. And it's just kind of a classic, uh, you know, hopefully a classic problem of just dirty switch contacts here. So this should be a quick and easy repair. So I've taken the top and bottom covers off of the unit here and this is uh, the multi-wafer switch that is uh, connected to the range switch here that uh, seems to be intermittent. And uh, I took both covers off because I wanted to inspect the bottom of the circuit board here to be sure I didn't have any uh, cold or cracked solder joints and they all seem to be okay. So I think the problem is simply uh, you know, corrosion on the contacts on both sides of these wafers. And uh, that uh, should be a pretty easy fix. So the product I'm going to use is uh, Deoxit D5. In fact, it's uh, model number uh, D5S-6P. Uh, this stuff's been around for a long time. It does a fantastic job in breaking up oxidation and dirt and uh, things like that on switch contacts like this. Now in this application, um, I could just uh, spray it you know, onto the contacts here and, and work the switch, but uh, I don't want to get it all over the circuit board. So I'm going to spray it onto uh, this little uh, lint-free applicator and then wipe it on the contacts and treat it that way. Okay, so I've got it on the applicator here. I'm just going to wipe it down onto uh, the contacts here. And I'll run the, uh, run the switch back and forth and do this for uh, each side of the switch each set of contacts here to spread the uh, the cleaner around and I'll repeat this uh, two or three times. Now after doing this just a few times it's actually pretty clear how much oxidation there was on this switch. You can see how uh, all the black and gunk that uh, is the applicator is just picking up here just from uh, wiping this uh, contact here you know, half a dozen times. So it's a good idea to uh, let the stuff uh, get wiped in there real well, let it sit for a few seconds, and continue to operate the switch to break up all the, the oxidation or the dirt. And then I'll go through and reapply some clean uh, deoxid to the applicator here and do it again to kind of flush out uh, any of the remaining uh, oxidation that has gotten loosened up uh, with the first application. Okay, so here's my kind of rinsing operation. Put some clean deoxid on the applicator here. And uh, I'll just run this through here a couple of times to kind of wipe off the rest of the oxidation and dirt that's been kind of loosened up with the first application here. We'll do this on uh, each side of the switch so we can reach here with the applicator. Now with that rinse, uh, the applicator came back uh, not quite as dirty, so I think we're pretty good. I might wipe it down one or two more times, but I, uh, I think that's probably it. Let's see how well we did. Okay, after letting the unit sit for a few minutes to dry, plugged it back in here, and I think we've solved the problem. You can see the switch is no longer intermittent. Tapping on it no longer causes uh, intermittent things to happen here with the sweep. So I think we've certainly solved the problem. I've used this uh, deoxid material for years in these types of applications to clean switch contacts and always does a super job. Anyway, thanks again for watching this little repair video. Uh, if you liked it, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so, and we'll look for you next time. Thank you.